So during the hype of the, right, right now we're seeing the pump, or we're seeing the dump, sorry. During the height of it when people were pumping the Michael Jordan rookie card, PSA 10, 1986 flair, sold for $840,000 on PWCZ according to Jeff Wilson, AKA Sports Card Investors video. That was about nine months ago, nine, nine and a half months ago according to YouTube. Since then, the card sold recently on my slab for the same PSA 10, not the same serial number, but a fungible item, a exactly identical item, which was the 1986 Michael Jordan Flair, same card, same grade, PSA 10 sold for a whopping $170,000, leading to a $670,000 loss. So if you had purchased that card, you would be out within nine months, six hundred and at least $670,000. That does not include the buyer premium fees, which would be really, really high in the $840,000. And that doesn't include any selling fees that you pay for my slabs. The market is clearly down. People are clearly angry. I, the flea market I go to, it, where I went to buy magic bulk cards, sometimes I got a good deal, sometimes I just have a bunch of bulk in my garage, right? That place got shot up yesterday. Uh, I live in Houston, the flea market is I think 10 miles or 10, some, it's not very far away from downtown Houston, it's really easy to get to, it is a huge flea market. At the time of the shooting, there was a thousand people there. There, it, it's fun, you know. I like going to these events with my employees because there's not, there's no way that you can go bankrupt at a flea market, pretty much. And you know, you go video game hunting, go for magic card. Obviously, the pre-COVID nineteen, I went there for magic cards. It was just fun seeing the inventory. Uh, there's a dealer down there that has just uh, tables and tables of just bulk, and sometimes you can get a good deal. Sometimes, you know, it's just bulk. That place got shot up, um, people died, people were injured, and I think people are very upset. The economy is very upsetting. Joe Biden, let's not you know pick on him too much in this video, but I do think he is not doing a good job of the economy. I don't think he's done a good job of inflation. You know, just keep printing money and say, hey, student loan forgiveness debt. I mean, I agree with like some student loans. I don't have any student loans. I paid off all my student loans. NYU, well, I mean, I paid half a million dollars in student loans and one check. That's how much money I make. <laughs> I just pay it off all one check. Um, I do agree, but right now it's probably not the time. I think the economy has to be doing well for that initiative to really, you know, take action. Because then people say, oh, well, everyone's doing well. Let's forgive them. People are going to be more willing to do that than, hey, let's forgive these loans. But I got loans too. You know, when people are right now, their credit card loans are the highest it's ever been. Uh, the American public has spent consumer, in, the, I mean, inflation is the highest it's ever been in 40 years, plus spending is the highest. And I think people are gonna massively lose jobs very soon, that's what a recession is. Businesses will bankrupt and without the PPP loan money to support it anymore, it's going to be a bloodbath. So people are getting angry we see this across just Sunday. There was a shooting in Buffalo, there was a shooting in California, and there was a shooting in Houston. This is not like an isolated event, right? This is three different people, maybe three different motives. Uh, maybe the one person was the racist in Buffalo, the, the other person shot up a church, so maybe they were anti-religion or something, I don't know, well, who really knows. And then the person in Houston, it was two people who got in an argument. I think both of them had guns and they just shot at random people. So over a flea market deal, over probably ten dollars, you know, guy wanted ten, you know, hey, you wanna pay five, you bring out your gun and boom, 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 boom. You know. <laughs> over five bucks, right? Um, it's very scary, it's very dangerous. Um, I really, there's a lot of fake cards, there's a lot of anger, there's a, there's a lot of anger in this hobby, there's a lot of negativity in the hobby, and rightfully so. A lot of people, it's not just the people who bought Luca Base or, God forbid, you know, they bought James Harden's rookie card. You used to see James Harden's rookie card in like every single content creator's video, now you don't see his card anymore, I wonder why. And you know, in fact, I think some sports card investor, didn't he trade for like a very valuable James Harden card? Yeah, no one wants him. He's trash. I live in Houston. 
he's lazy, he doesn't go to events on time. I know because there was an event that my um, client sponsored and he didn't even show up until the event was halfway over and he was paid, it was a charity event too, and he was paid to attend, to do a meet and greet and, and I couldn't even like get an autograph from him because the event was over by the time like the meet and greet happened. So, yeah, a lot of people told you to buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, and they were wrong. They lost you 80%. I mean, this if this Michael Jordan card, which is considered a holy grail in this hobby, loses 80% of its value, well, what did a Luca base do? And Luca is having a really, really good season too. So maybe the better example would be, a, what did a Ben Simmons rookie card do? Or what did a Zion, right? Luca and Zion, the two big heavy hitters. What did a Zion base do? Not very good. How about a Zion serial number? Not very good. How about a Zion autograph? Not very good. So people are angry and I think it's not safe anymore is my understanding of the hobby. Um, I, I mean, there's a lot of people who lost a lot of money and if you read the Doquan, the Lunar Coin, the Terra Coin, where they're going just like, they're con the, the number one frags are contemplating suicide and the number two frags are people who are contemplating going after Doquan, who's safely in the Philippines, protected by the Philippine government and police, because he's probably paid them millions of dollars to do so. You know, I never invest in someone who is not like an American citizen, because for me as a lawyer, there's no way for me to sue somebody in the Philippines if they rug pull me, right? Um, I can get some money in America, but I can't get some money in the Philippines. And if the company is registered in the Philippines, God forbid there's anything you can do, the government not going to, in the Philippines is going to do nothing. You know, they're just going to take their bribe for the Doquan individual and uh, off he goes with billions of dollars, right? So anyway, that's my understanding is, you know, things are getting dangerous. People are getting very angry. You know, road rage is definitely something that you see much more of now during a bad time, during a recession. You know, the uh, gravy train of PPP loans, stimulus checks, unemployment, it's run out. There's no more money to be printed. Yet you still have a president who's doing new green deals for $10 billion trillion, infrastructure deal he just got approved of for $1 trillion. He's raising $40 billion for Ukraine to buy weapons. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like he understands the mood of the, the the country. It really seems that like he he's like dead set on printing as much money as he can get his hands on. You know, he's he's making COVID fears like a hundred million new cases will come up. He says like these are not like inspiring things that a leader should be like you know you know should be um emphasizing. I mean, if you do think that these COVID cases will come up, then do something to prevent it have people take boosters, but you don't need to throw out a hundred million number. You just can say, oh, well, it would be great if everyone did got their boosters or whatever, right? Big Pharma is making tons of money. These companies are making billions, if not trillions of dollars on the back end of these COVID deals. Um, so I, I, I expect them to continue. I expect these military contact contracts for Ukraine to continue. I mean, it's not, we're spending so much money right now that we just simply don't have. And eventually the uh, Piper will call. The piper will uh, play its flute and uh, take all the children's futures away. Because that's what that's what money, that's what inflation, that's what this is all about. It's about the future generation. Because hey, they're the ones who are going to be stuck with the debt, not us. We'll be dead. Right? I mean, Joe, Joe Biden, given his age, I'm sure he's not thinking about how huh, what is going to happen to me in the next 100 years. I'm pretty sure he's just thinking about what's going to happen in the next midterm elections. So why not forgive all student loans? Why not forgive all medical debt? Why not just continue to print money? Because I won't, you know, he probably won't be reelected. So there's no point in not printing more money. Hi guys.